Uh, he says the rhetoric about the Ukraine conflict is out of control. President Joe Biden threatens that Russia would, quote, pay a heavy price, end quote, for any incursion into Ukraine. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken warns of, quote, massive consequences, end quote, for Russia. Senator Roger Wicker, a Republican from Mississippi, told Fox News' Neil Cavuto, quote, we don't rule out first use nuclear action, end quote, uh, a staggeringly idiotic comment. Those are my words, not Flynn's. <laughs> first use nuclear action rhetoric is not only extremely dangerous, but these types of nonsensical remarks also threaten the stability of the entire world. That's Flynn speaking. Uh, so let's bat that around for a minute. Um, Caleb, is the Ukraine rhetoric coming from the White House out of control? This severe consequences, massive action. Is, is, is it out of control at this point? Yes, but I wish it was just the White House. We have people that are talking irresponsibly about this topic all over the place. And I think when we start to think about these, these heavy words that you use, like nuclear weapons and all out war and, you know, attacking the like hot war with the Russians, I think what Flynn is doing with this piece, and I think something that we all need to do as we start talking about this and thinking about this, is how can we have a common sense conversation about what's happening and what are the real risks that are associated mm. with this type of situation? So... The White House is trying to clear up its PR nightmare after Biden gave him the green light in the presser on Thursday, yep. which was a total disaster. But it seems like they've overcorrected yep. to now be Russian hawks. So yep. they go from being like, well, we're just going to let Putin do what he wants, you know, minor yep. incursion and we'll, you know, sliding scales for punishments. And now they're talking like they're, you know, 1950s in the Eisenhower administration, you know, where we got B-52s over the Arctic Circle yep. you know, waiting to attack the Russians. I think it was maybe you, I think it was you who made the point earlier today in the pre-show meeting that the same people are in charge now who are in charge for Georgia. Yeah. Back, what was that now, 13, 14 years ago? Biden was vice president. The Russians were rolling into Georgia and nobody did anything. Um, at the same, uh, and a little bit later, you have Obama and his red line with Syria, which the Syrians crossed. Obama did nothing. Yeah, put his head in the sand. So Put his head in the sand. So th I think it's wise for us to consider whether or not we want to get involved in other countries' affairs, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But w it, it's one thing to make a threat when you have credibility, but I don't think Biden has any credibility. And so is that what leads to these huge overcorrections? Absolutely. And what we talk about here at the Western Journal all of us are trying to be very careful about how we deal with this topic yeah. because there is no greater human cost than war itself. I mean, yeah. it, it's a terrifying thing to consider. And us here, we're willing to actually say that war is an answer sometimes. Unlike the left, that yeah, says the war is true. never the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Those circumstances are extremely rare, but we'll at least admit that war has always got to be something we keep on the table. And, you know, speaking of credibility, if I just can add in. Um, do you think Joe Biden and his administration is handling what they're doing right now, like in like how they're doing it? Do you think it's because they feel like they need to prove to America that they have like credibility and that do you think that's a possible like answer to this was why they're getting involved as they are? Sure. Yeah. I think it's more done out of the fact that they feel like they have to deal with this as opposed to they're picking this as a choice issue because mm. the Democrats hate foreign policy. They don't want to talk about this stuff. You watch any Dem debate and they'll talk about foreign policy for five minutes yeah. and yeah. Medicare for all for yeah. four, an yeah. hour 45. So this is not something that they feel like is a strong suit for them. The Afghanistan surrender was absolutely humiliating. Yeah. But I think something to kind of go back to the point you were making, which is this idea that you want to have a proportional response and project strength because a lack of those things does invite calamity. But at the same time, the way that they're talking about this and the solutions that have come out from admin officials and other folks I don't think our proportional responses at all and yeah. are more made from kind of this emotional, we've got to do something about this place as opposed to a tactical measured general Flynn type of approach where all the yeah. variables are being weighed.